year and welcome to Kindergarten Sabbath School lesson. A big shout out to those who are watching on Facebook, on YouTube, and especially on Kids Club for Jesus. And Kids Club for Jesus has lots of programs for us kids. I invite you to come and check it out. Today, we have a wonderful story for you called Hannah's Gift to God. But before that, come on boys and girls, come join us. Let's sing and praise God together. Oh 
Today's lesson is entitled, Hannah's Gift to God. Boys and girls, do remember the title of the lesson? What is it? Hannah's Gift to God. The memory verse is, For his whole life, he will be given to the Lord. 1 Samuel 1, 28. Let's repeat it again. For his whole life, he will be given to the Lord. 1 Samuel 1, 28. Let's repeat it one more time. For his whole life, he will be given to the Lord. 1 Samuel 1, 28. Now, it's your turn. For his whole life, he will be given to the Lord. 1 Samuel 1, 28. Good job, everyone. Thank you. And thank you, Misha, for saying our memory verse. You're welcome. The message for today's story is, we serve God when we help God's leaders. Before the lesson, we invite you to pray with us. I have knees that bend for prayer. I have hands that fold for prayer. I have eyes that close for prayer. Now I talk to Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. As we're going to start your lesson, as we're going to start your lesson, about Hannah's gift to God, about Hannah's gift to God, and be with us, and be with us, and speak to us, and speak to us. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have you ever thought about the people who help at church? Did you know you could help too? Hannah and Elkanah traveled to Shiloh to worship at the tabernacle. And every time they went to Shiloh, Hannah felt sad. She had no children. And Hannah had prayed for a baby. Old priest Eli had prayed to God to give Hannah what she had asked for. Back home at last, Hannah watched the children chase each other, playing games. Hannah smiled at the noisy, out-of-breath children. Hannah smiled at their mothers, and she held the secret to herself. She was finally going to be a mother, too. And then one day, Hannah's little baby boy was born. Hannah looked at her beautiful baby's dark curly hair and his cute little ears, and she touched his soft skin and counted his tiny toes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tiny little toes. Hannah named her baby Samuel because that name means heard of God. She had asked God for a son, and he had heard her. The next year when it was time to worship at Shiloh again, Elkanah went. But this time Hannah stayed home. I will wait until the baby can feed himself, she said to her husband. Then I will take him to the tabernacle, and he will stay there and serve the Lord. So when Samuel grew old enough to eat regular food, Hannah took him to the tabernacle just as she promised. Do you remember me? she asked Eli. I stood here and prayed to the Lord for a son. He gave me this beautiful boy. And now I am giving him back to the Lord. My boy will belong to the Lord all of his life, and he will help you in many ways. Little Samuel looked up at priest Eli. He was not afraid to stay at the tabernacle with him. Even though he was just a small little boy, he could help God's leader, priest Eli. Hannah missed her boy very much, but she kept her promise to God. Every year, she looked forward to going to the tabernacle to see Samuel. Every year, Hannah brought a new coat to Samuel. And every year, please Eli would bless Hannah and Elkanah. May the Lord give you more children, Eli said. And God did give Hannah and Elkanah more children. Three sons and two daughters. They lived at home with their mother and father. 
But little Samuel lived at the tabernacle and helped priest Eli. Hannah missed little Samuel, but she kept her promise to God. She knew that God had blessed her in Elkanah. She had given her son to the Lord to be priest Eli's helper. And Hannah would only see Samuel once a year when the family went to Shiloh again. But that was all right, because she loved the Lord and was happy to have Samuel serve him. Samuel was so special, and Hannah always loved him. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for the lesson. Help us to help our leaders just like little Samuel did, and help us to help others too. Be with those who are watching, be with them and say, then keep them safe. Be with those who are sick, may you lay your healing hand upon them and restore their health. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, we serve God when we help God's leaders. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. May God be of y'all. Have a blessed week and happy Sabbath. See you next time. Bye.